Hello, welcome to the London Electric Vehicle Show. We're here in Islington. I'm delighted to say that Ben Kilby from British Volt is here. Ben, what are you guys doing here today? I am here on a mission to promote the fact that batteries are an essential element to the energy transition, to a successful energy transition. If produced in the correct way, the way that British Volt will be producing them up on our site in Northumberland, which we like to call a national treasure. So we'll be producing low carbon, sustainable, responsibly manufactured and domestically produced battery cells for a successful energy transition. Beautiful. Now, we've been up there, we, we've been up to uh, the site um, over just north of Whitley Bay up in, uh, in Northumberland. It is incredible. You guys have done an incredible job there. You must be pretty proud of what you've achieved so far. We are incredibly proud and we're incredibly humble. It's been, uh, I think, at last valuation and that's not the only metric to judge things on, but we're the eighth fastest growing unicorn in UK PLC history so far. Uh, and that's come about from a lot of hard work in the background from the team. You know, we've got our visionary CEO, Oral Najari, um, and the rest of the team, uh, Isabel Sheldon, our chief strategy officer, OBE. And she has uh, OBE because of her services to the battery industry. Technical officer, Alan Patterson, Dr. Alan Patterson, chief cell designer, I could go on and on. Collaboration is the only way we can really get to this successful energy transition alongside these low carbon battery cells. We're here with the EV Cafe. Um, you talk about collaboration, but I think education is, is also incredibly important. Why do you think what the EV Cafe is doing on an education basis is, uh, is equally important? There's a lot of myths about EVs that still need to be busted. So, you know, what they are doing is an imperative, again, so that's, it's another one of those pillars to that successful energy transition, collaboration, education, battery cells. Um, so what they're doing is fantastic. I know they're out and about a lot. I haven't yet managed to get myself onto the show. So uh, it'll be great to see Sarah. I think we're both presenting later on. Um, but, they, you know, they, they bring that energy across. I think Sam Clark is from GridServe. What an incredible business that is. Look what they're doing to revolutionise the charging infrastructure within the UK. So these things need to be done so we don't hear people talking about range anxiety etc etc actually what's happening is a complete mind shift into how we commute how we move around and how we use energy i think we look at the amount of people that are here today amount of businesses amount of tech that is popping up all over the place uh, but obviously electric cars is and are going to be the, the the main form of transport going forward why, why is it so crucial what you guys at British Volt are doing in, in terms of the battery technology? So if we look at solutions to the energy crisis or the climate crisis, so we need to shift away from, as Robert Llewellyn says, burning stuff. So we need to stop burning stuff and we need to move to a renewable energy um, future. Batteries need to be made responsibly with this renewable energy, as we're going to do in Northumberland, to capture the renewable energy. Now, that's not to say that electrification of everything, I would like to see the electrification of everything because I am in the business of making batteries, but there will be other solutions. But I think for the immediate, for something we understand, at the end of the day, it's not just about carbon, it's about air quality. Now, I've got three beautiful daughters. I'm, I'm working at British Volt because I know that I can impact change positively. And I would say that 100% of the people who work there are doing it for the same reason. So these batteries are essential to power a clean air future for all. But let's let's talk about you know the, the fact that you're not just creating batteries, you're creating jobs as well. So it's great for the UK economy. Yeah, there's a huge job creation aspect. So you can have roughly 3,000 direct, highly skilled jobs when we're up to full capacity of around 30 to 38 gigawatt hours per annum. Um, so you're gonna have these direct jobs, and then you're gonna have around 5,000 jobs in the associated supply chain. And also, you know, this isn't just about these jobs, it's about the jobs that it creates for that region. So there is a, um, there's a systemic change in, in employment. So I think it's Warwick University that used uh, Dr. Benjamin Silverstone who says, you know, the electrification of society will lead to upskill, reskill, new skill. There's been some negative media around the fact that there's just not gonna be enough people for these jobs. There's plenty of people, it's how you retrain them. So you think that gives more employment opportunities to the people that need to train them. So there's all these knock-on effects to making batteries. So it's not just about what it does for British Vol, it's about the co-location narrative as well. So we'd like to bring the refining to the UK and use that renewable energy with the North Sea Hydro connector and the renewable wind farms off of the uh, coast of Northumberland 
would like to use all their energy to co-locate and create an ecosystem there which will create huge, huge, huge uh, employment opportunities. Beautiful. Love your work. It is the decade of doing. Big year next year. But uh, yeah, keep up the good work and thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Rick. Great to see you.